Honestly, I think I was born to do mountain bike, to be honest. I've always ridden every bike. Thomas Pitcock gets on the pedal! To me, it's just normal, just having loads of bikes in the garage. The young race rider, Thomas Pitcock! But I guess not everyone. I'm performing with the best in cross and on road, so, yeah, I don't see why I can't hear a mountain bike. It's a different game when you get to elite. Moving to elite and cross first and then road, now mountain bike is kind of a, a nice way to do it. I'm going really well. I mean, I'm thinking my shape is really good. Maybe we can do something with this fur, or maybe they, they will cut it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they will cut it out. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> okay, I think we can. Perfect. Okay. How wide was it? Oh, yeah. we have to Okay, do that's nice. nice. So flatten your hair a little bit, or I can just go a little bit wider. You're going to have to go a bit wider. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's newfound pressure. What about if I just uh, go like this and then just walk away? I mean, yeah, I've had yeah, pressure for a while in different disciplines. So do it again. If anything, there's less pressure now. Try it, try it, try it. There's less pressure. First year pro, you, there's, there's not pressure from anyone. <laughs> I'm number 92 or something, so... Starting at the back, going to be on a mission on Sunday and uh, trying to get to the front. I'm excited. It'll be, be good fun for sure. Doing a lot of overtaking and dive bombing and maybe pissing a few people off. <laughs> it's kind of nice starting there, you know, it can only get better really. We'll see how it goes. Right, talk to me about your bike. I'm not allowed to talk about it. It was nice kind of, yeah, getting back on it and getting used to it and kind of dialing it in and, yeah, just kind of getting the feeling again. When you first get on, it's kind of, you kind of get stuck on a few roots and things and but then when you get the feeling, you're nice and flowy, it's a good feeling when you, when you get the rhythm, if you like. I think it's important to, to find the places where you can, you can move and you have to just commit to them on the first lap, really. And I guess once once I kind of get to the front and I've made a, done a lot of work to get there, then it's going to be uh, hard the last few laps after to get so deep on the first few. Yeah. It's good. It works better than that one. That one's too hard to get down. I mean, it's my first time racing against a lot of these guys, so that's the kind of unsure thing. But it's nice to kind of start where I am. I'm kind of in a different race to them, if you like. I'm in my own race. It's an easy way to kind of get used to the competition and, and find out where they are. Hey man, all good? But, uh, I've lost there. You hear it coming out? Yeah, it's still losing air. Can you put the compression back to where it was? No, that's it now, that's it. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back at a sporting event, a mountain bike race, you know, it's been a long time. It's going to be something, uh, I think something really special, you know. Yeah, this is going to be, I would say, one of the hardest fought World Cup races of all time. The one thing for me this track always delivers some amazing racing is that for the riders there's nowhere to hide. This is one of the most physical World Cups of the year, dominated by climbing, you know. it's, it's To me it's like a purist cross-country track. World Cup of 2021 is go, go, go here in Elmstadt, Germany. Firing down the tarmac. Look at the riders bar. Huge field here today. Looking for Pitcock if you can see him. Here he is. It's number 100 on his bike. The man that everyone has been talking about this week. Wow, he's trying, but the speed's there, but not the room to get around a lot of these riders yeah. by the look of it. Oh, just like that. Just look at him. Doesn't look to be any fatigue in his legs, Bart. And he's going to go straight by Avancini as well. 
It's now Bitcock who's taking the lead, and why not? 11th row start for him, and suddenly leading this race. Look at that. Well, Pitcock leads here in Alpstadt, Germany. It's incredible. He found his rhythm. Looks like that. Yeah, right on the wheel there. Bit of Cooper. Oh, here stay. comes Thomas Pitcock with an all-out effort now in the last bit of this lap then. The fifth place now. Amazing. From the Cooper. A podium ride for Thomas Pitcock. An amazing ride. His first elite World Cup race for Thomas Pitcock. He would have took so much energy to get to the front. Wow, well, what a race, Bart. Uh, I think three laps to go, and then two laps to go, we put some air in it, but I should have changed wheels. <laughs> and, and it went down again. So the last lap, I was just hitting everything. People were kind of reluctant to let me pass, but I mean, I guess it's their race too. It's not like they just can let me pass. Hey, excuse me, please. It's nice that there's five people on the podium, so that means podium our first uh, Elite World Cup. Yeah, I'm a dad. That's probably how I'm motivated. How I'm motivated. Yeah, I'm a dad. I mean, it's been... Uh... Up, ups and downs for sure. I mean, the level is so high, it's kind of, yeah, little things make a big difference. I've learned a lot. It's been super, super exciting, cool racing in these big races. And it's not really things you learn, like specifics, but you kind of just become more experienced and make smart decisions when you, when you do things. Round two of the short track. And the pole, probably the man to beat tonight, you'd have to say. But have a look at Pitcock as well. The hype around those two riders, it's justified. The men are underway in Novia Mesto Navaravi. Onto the tarmac. Van der Poel leads in the blue. Into the jump set, Van der Poel at the front now. Pitcock right there with him. Goretzky up the inside now. Here comes Goretzky now in the lead. Saru leading back. Here comes Maggie van der Poel. So Van der Poel. Pitcock there, just over his shoulder. So when will Van der Poel go, or will Pitcock go Pitcock around him? It. So Pitcock to the front now. Pitcock leads from Matthew Van der Poel. Thomas Pitcock gets on the pedal. Matthew Van der Poel trying to go with him. But a young British rider, Thomas Pitcock, head down, can Van der Poel come back? Van der Poel comes back. Oh, who got it? I haven't got a clue. Uh, yeah, a little bit annoying, because I couldn't get him my biggest gear. So that's why I was spinning so fast. So uh, it's kind of a bit annoying, but um, I, was, I was feeling really good. So I'm really happy actually with how I felt. Technical issues seem to be plaguing you over the last two yeah. weekends. How do you how do you iron that out ahead of Sunday? Well, inexperience, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> this year, when I, I want to go to the Olympics and I want to get a medal. So I need to also perform here with with all these guys too. Man on everyone's lips after that breathtaking ride from the back last week. Thomas Pitcock won both the World Cup races here as well last year in the under 23 category. Can he do it in the elite ranks? Saru poised. Pitcock next to him. Novia Mesto World Cup is underway. Van der Poel fires out on the number two bike. Yeah, Saru, good start, and Koretsky as well with a big gear besides him. Thomas Pitcock around seventh position. Yes, Flickiger now third place with Thomas Pitcock. Thomas Pitcock goes across the line in fourth. Eight seconds down for him. Pitcock making a little bit of a move there. He can climb so fast, it seems, but... Yeah, he's perfectly built, I think, for mountain biking, actually. Oh, look at this. Wow. Pitcock knows how fast uh, Van der Poel is. And he will not chance a gap opening up. And now Pitcock goes to the front, then. Taking the lead. Van der Poel has to follow him. Pitcock is going fast. He is. Taking it to Van der Poel. He definitely has the skills. Doesn't look to me like they're waiting for any man today, Bart. No testing out each other. Let's see Poel. how close Pitcock is riding on this rear wheel of Van der Poel. We saw Pitcock attack out of the top of that climb. A big gap. I'm surprised he's gone so early, Bart. And beaten by uh, Van der Poel in that short track last Friday. Maybe that made him angry. Don't make them angry. <laughs> <laughs> out of this cellar. See how fast he goes. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, Pidcock then. Man, he can ride a mountain bike, no problem at all. He's your leader, Thomas Pidcock. As Pidcock comes up to hear the bow. One more to go then for this young Brit. Absolute perfection so far in this race. Marching on towards his first elite cross-country World Cup win, this man. The pimp track, nearly there, Bart. Well, Thomas Pidcock has rode an amazing race. The rain's coming down, it doesn't matter now. The gap of over a minute. Believe the hype! Thomas Pidcock wins in Nova Resto Navaravi! His first cross-country World Cup win. Honestly, I think I think I was born to do mountain bike, to be honest. Yeah, it sounds stupid, but I think it's what I've, I've done since I was little and what I've enjoyed the most. And uh, yeah, coming here and uh, yeah, winning an Elite World Cup, uh, kind of my second attempt, but my first attempt at uh, equal playing field is, yeah, it's pretty, pretty insane, really. I think I've uh, yeah, shown what I can do in a mountain bike, I guess. It's hard to start at the back, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> today was one of those days where I I knew I was going to be super strong, you know, and uh, yeah, the start, I kind of took my time, didn't get too excited, and built my way into the race. You know, this track, it makes a big difference when you can take your own lines at the front and take your own pace. Well, in a situation like this, it doesn't really sink in, you know, I mean, I'm happy and everything, but I'm always more relieved when, you know, I do a big result. Like, I have a few days off now, so I'm going to go find Burger King or something <laughs> on the way home. I believe I can win win anything I put my mind to, that's kind of my personality. Not to be big headed, but if I put my mind to something, you know, I want to go there to win. There's no point aiming for anything less, is there really? Of course, I put pressure on myself when, in every race I do, so at the end of the day, winning is the most important thing, isn't it? And having fun, they go hand in hand, really.